Hey guys, so today we're doing a hair dyeing video. It might look like our hair, we're going a darker brown. It might look like our hair is already dark brown, but I'm warning you, like, you can tell hers is In not. the light, it's hard. Mine is a little darker than hers because I recently That's got my... Thing. If you turn this way, you can see. It's not, it's not, like, that dark. I got it dyed, like, over a month ago, and it's, like, it was not permanent. So it's, like, here, turn around at the same time. So it's, like, washed out a lot. But it's nighttime, so it looks darker than it is. But, oh, if you go in, you can see better. Put your head closer to see the before. Turn, the tops are darker. Right, so, yeah, you can see. So, then I have this little annoying piece. First step is we're putting, why am I putting this? I'm just doing a demi-permanent, whatever. She's doing a permanent hair dye. I'm doing demi-permanent because, as you guys know from watching my channel, if you watch it, I literally dye my hair and change my mind all the time. So you've seen me with everything from green to pink to blue to purple to split dyes to blonde, bleach blonde, everything. You, get you that, guys you know? saw me go purple. <laughs> me acting like I have like consistent <laughs> subscribers that actually watch all my I videos. I bet someone's gonna comment now and be like, hey, I don't watch all your videos. Sorry no. if someone does that. I hope that I do have consistent subscribers. I just don't think I do. Because I... all over your forehead. I know, I'm putting a little too much. Jeez. Whatever. So, Vaseline has been applied. Now, we are going to get in. Let me show you straight away what we're using. You're so loud. I don't care. This is what I'm doing on her. We both have the same hair color, just mine's in... Demi, hers is in permanent. So, she's got the... Let me just read it. It is the one and only Argan Oil um, 4CH. This is from Sally's. Guys, when I get my camera for Christmas, my Canon G7 X Mark II, then you will have better videos, I promise. Right now, though, we're still on iPhone quality. And here's mine. Same thing. Literally the same thing, just the demi-permanent version. So... For my demi permanent, now you guys are gonna get two options here. If you want the demi permanent, permanent, this will last like up to like twenty, like twenty eight, twenty four washes ish, like a month and a half maybe. Um, but this bottle actually comes. Each of these bottles comes with two applications. We'll see if that's true. They say, it claims to. Um, so I am doing a ten volume developer with my demi permanent, and Grace is doing for her permanent a thirty volume developer. So her, the color, what is it? Warm, uh, medium chocolate brown, medium chocolate brown color. Hers is going to come out to the desired color immediately because it's a permanent, whereas mine is going to be a little darker. And as you, as I wash it, it'll like, you know, switch up a little bit. So, so for this, let's... you're going to need your dyes and your developers. You're going to need, um, for the developers, by the way, we're using the same brand. Um, you can get cheaper ones, just Sally's type ones the clarial and all the cheaper ones clips bowls towels shirts you don't care about now let's get started measuring all right guys so this tube is um three fluid ounces this tube is six fluid ounces so it's one part dye two parts developer how um however i do not have scale used to but um we're just gonna eyeball it so we're gonna do half of this and half of this because this is our this is our ready three and this is six so half this half this so 1.5 to 3. So I'm going to start by just. That, wait, wait, wait. That's three. Mm -hmm. And that's six. So this is already half. You're doing one part this to two parts that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to like split the tube to like here ish. That's about half. And I'm just going to like go from there down. Uh, do you want me to kind of hold this up? Normally I would just show you guys, but like the bowl, but right now we're just trying to work fast before we get kicked out of this bathroom by our dad. Um, all right, so see, we got about half left. So yeah, that's about, now this stuff is, it's not that easy to get out. You really got to squeeze. It's always a little difficult. Oh, wow. See? Mm -hmm. like, 
There's probably a lot more in this little area that I can squeeze out. I'll speed this part up. Just your muscle shaking. I know. All right, so it smells like ass. Ooh, ew. We oh should have we should have put shit down on the counter. Okay, so now I'm gonna go about half of this, which is. Hmm. That's where we're at. Uh, gonna do my best. I want to see where it starts. It starts kind of low, so I'm just gonna. Mm, it's hard to tell. It doesn't. It's not a look. It's like. Baking is a perfect measurement. This is kind of hard to tell. Does not have to be a perfect measurement. I'm going to go about there. That feels about right. And you can just judge the consistency. So I'm going to mix it and get back to you guys. So we actually just decided to pour the rest of the dye cube in the rest of the um, developer just because we did half and we realized um, it didn't really look like enough. She does have very long hair that is sort of thick so right. i'm basically gonna be now applying the mixture try to get all the lumps out i'm gonna be applying it to her shafts you can turn around i'm gonna be applying it to her shafts first and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna section my favorite way to section is to start down here and just go up in layers up in layers like that split it this way and just go up and like pin the, this all up Make sure you fully saturate these strands. People make the mistake of not putting enough dye. Even when people bleach too, they make the mistake not putting enough bleach and it just is a mess. So saturate, I'm gonna go about up to like there and then I'm gonna do the roots last. So I'm gonna put them on, saturate the ends. Then I'm gonna come back for the roots, 15 minutes each, 30, total of 30 minutes. Okay guys, long story short, this is what I have left. I did have to use, her hair is so long and thick, I did have to use the whole bowl, um, all of the product for it. So it was not a two use thing. Here are my hands. Um, yeah, so she's fully saturated. I did the shafts first and then the roots. Very itchy. Yeah, I mean, this 30 volume developer. Now I'm gonna go do mine. I'm gonna wash out this bowl using the big bowl, um, clean my gloves off a little bit, and then I'm gonna go do my demi permanent and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so we just showered, and basically what you missed was uh, when I did Grace's, I did her shafts first, and then I went straight to her roots after, and after doing the roots and the shafts together, we left it in for like 25 minutes, and then she showered, and shampoo, condition, and yeah, and do like a cooler temperature, like a warm temperature, and then I dyed my own head. And um, I did not do the shaft and the root. I just did it all at once. And I like went half and half. And then I waited for 22-ish minutes. And I showered. And tomorrow morning when we do our makeup, you're going to see our hair all styled and done in the sunlight. Okay, guys, this is the finished hair. It's really weird. It has like a reddish tone. Like, can you see that? here it's really weird like and it what so mine is a lot darker than grace's i'm gonna do a clip of grace's after this with the shirt. hers is the permanent mine's the demi permanent yes sorry i'm driving um but i'm looking at the road and um yeah so hers like is a lot lighter and you can see the reddishness and mine looks like it has a lot of reddishness right now which is scary because my mom ha has always had like dark red hair like this so i feel like i'm becoming her with this hair um but 
yeah it is not at all what we expected it to turn out like and kind of like in a bad way like i don't hate it like this hair is pretty like i i like it and everything but i think it's more red at the bottom because i didn't use like a i think they're called filler or something that you put in hair that was like blonde or bleached or whatever to make it like more even with the rest but um but yeah i like I don't know I just it's it's not what I like wanted and same for Grace it's not what either of us were expecting or wanted because we saw like a tutorial on how to do this like someone using this color and everything and like it just came out a lot different I know it can be different for everybody but I don't know I mean like I like it it's just not what we were going for I still like it though I'm not mad about it I just yeah not the intended color but It'll do, and okay, now we'll jump to a clip of Grace's hair. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, this is the finished product. Um, I'll turn my head so you can see. I really like how it turned out. It has a slightly like reddish tint, which you can't really tell on camera. I don't know if you can, but um, which I didn't like at first, but it's actually growing on me a lot, and I've gotten lots of compliments. I, I don't like the reddish hers tint. Is I, have mine, I have it in mine too, and I don't like it. I like it a lot. It really makes my eyes pop out, I think, and my pale skin. So, yeah. This and this is the same dye, remember? So, it's permanent and dem demi permanent or something. Mm -hmm. So, mine's a lot darker. My hair also started off a little darker, but um also because mine's supposed to get lighter and lighter as it goes. But yeah. We hope you like the video and stay tuned for more hair dyeing and more mukbangs and just random videos. Peace Coming out. Soon.